Hello YouTube and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use rigid body constraints constraints in the Blender game engine so you can make stuff like soft body cloaks. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, it's just like you know in Assassin's Creed where your character flies around everywhere and his cloak flaps in the wind and it's a nice little effect that you can add very quickly. You can also use this for dangling light bulbs. It's really simple and it, it's easy. Um, all you need is two objects. One is going to be the player, and the other is going to be the said cloak, which I'll just keep as a plane for now. And when you make it, the cloak, press Control A, um, rotation scale, and location. I don't know why, but in the newest version of Blender, if you don't set that, then it will just go crazy and not work properly. So now that you've done that, you want to select your cloak and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a texture and you want to give it a soft body physics and give it collision bounds to triangle mesh linear stiffness down to you know, up to 6 and turn off shape match so you can just test that out by pressing P to play and it falls oh, and one more thing um, turn back face culling off that way it won't be invisible Oops. I don't understand. I don't know, maybe that's just a bug with this version of Blender. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so now that you've done Mucky Run that, you want to subdivide it a couple times so it will actually act like a soft body. So you can go ahead and test that, drop it on the cube. You go and give the cubes dynamic physics with collision bounds of box. Now you want to place this more or less in the position that you want your cloak to be. And then you're going to add its constraints so it doesn't go off moving everywhere. So you want to click here on the constraint button. And you want to go ahead and name your cube to something that you can remember, like Junior. And then select your plane and give it uh, about two rigid body joint constraints in relationship. So two rigid body joints. Both of them have to be hinge. So they're a hinge kind of joint, like a door is a hinge joint and only rotates in one axis. A ball joint is every single axis. So we only want it hinge. We don't want the cloak flapping around everywhere. So we want to change the target to junior for both the things. And you want to go display pivot and move the pivot to where you want the object to be held in place uh, there you go, that's one and now the other there we go, oops, oh Yeah. So now it is constrained to the cube. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to follow around the cube. And then you can go ahead and give the cube some basic controls. I'm, going to go, I'm not going to go crazy this time. I'm just going to go simple, just move forward. So just give it some simple controls. You can go ahead and play and test it out. It's a bit weird, I guess, because the soft body collisions isn't exactly perfect with the Blender game engine. I'm still trying to figure out how to get it nice and awesome so it doesn't go through objects and stuff like that. So I might upload a video tutorial later on how to do it properly, but there you go. One other thing is um, you want to change this to... What was it? Uh, yeah, you want to change the mass of this to something higher, like 13. As long as it's higher than this, otherwise it'll be pushed around by the object. Alright, so that's about it. You can muck around with the margins, so it doesn't go through as much. Stuff like that. So, okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked. Please subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, then just send me an inbox. Thank you.